SCP-001, QNTM's proposal. Object class, safe. Special containment procedures. SCP-001 is to be kept locked along with all data pertaining to it inside. The primary archival vault to the sublevel 1 of Site 10. The vault is a custom manufactured reinforced concrete and steel vertical octagon prism. Uh, SCP-001 is among the safest artifacts in Foundation's possession, and these measures are primarily intended to prevent theft. Description SCP-001 is a smooth, black, perfectly el ellipsal onyx gemstone with a mottled white pattern wrapped around its exterior, encompassing its e equator in both poles. Is a complex and later fractal filigree of gold metal. The gold is sculptured to, into broad strokes at what is now usually agreed to be the lower or south pole of, of the object. But, the, but with increasing latitude, the pattern becomes progressively more intricate. Near the North Pole, also called the lock or singularity, the pattern complexity and progresses beyond the compatibility of optical or electron beam microscopes to resolve further investigation is pending advances in microscopy technology. The gemstone continuously emits a small quantity of thermal radiation in the microwave range. As a result, the gold filigree is warm to the touch and white multiplied areas emit Fractionally more radiation than the black onyx areas. Other than this, SCP-001 is totally inert, it is opaque to all forms of electromagnetic and hard radiation, and so far indestructible. Its onyx gold complexion is, I guess, from visual inspection since the taking of the samples for chemical analysis have proven impossible. Project Pluto Master Lock. The following experiments had failed to open SCP-001. Conventional lock picking, brute force assault with a hammer, chisel, sledgehammer, bolt cutters, welding torch, bandsaw, etc. Sustained heating to 5,000 degrees, centigrade industrial furnace, direct application to industrial cutting laser, compression to in vice, car crusher, hydraulic diamond press, Diamond face press, application of corrosive acid and other high oxidizing compounds, detonation of plastic and solid explosives up to 0.5 kT T, T equivalent to a point blank range, detonation of 15 kT TV equivalent atomic warhead at point blank range. Project Pluto is immediately terminated. Dr. Hack. Project Pluto is ongoing with a full report of the Foundation's resources. Dr. Marsky. SCP-001 Acquisition Report. The earliest report of SCP-001 is, is the handwritten journal of the, of the minor Scottish aristocrat, Sir Edwin Young the third, uh, Baronet. As was customary at the time, Young kept the cabinet of curiosities a small room of artifacts of undetermined reverence such, such as sculptures, reserve, creatures, and trinkets. Young's journal includes references to, the, uh, to his acquisition engine in 1654 of Anne Bound Jewel of Onyx and Fury Gold of Fennel's Beyond Rational Item. While traveling across the Mesopotamian desert, the journal indicates that SCP-001 was found buried in the ruin of a bitter, blighted light place, older than days, or what Young took to be a temple of, to a fearsome death god. SCP-001 was found encased in stone at the, at the center of four enormous runic stones. 
Young's journal it includes a sketch of the most readable side of the most well-preserved stone, but he was unable to read the rooms to find a scholar or find a scholar to tra translate them. Young's account of his journey to the location of the room is incomplete and has not yet been located. Young's Collections of cur curious prevalence lay in the st storage for several centuries after he died. In 1805, his descendants donated SCP-001 to the Scottish National Museum in Edinburgh. The curators of the museum regarded SCP-001 as an ancient, fragile, and priceless example of ancient Sumerian metalworking. They therefore failed to discover that anomalous warmth and indestructibility, or as impossible, microscopic scale construction. They were, however, able to identify the ruins in Young's sketch as Territory Sumerian cuneiform, circa in 3400 BCE. Only a partial trans translation is possible. With loss and we, I, a pact on this ending finality, joy plus permanence. Mr. Candelish, who performed the translation, noticed this appears to be some sort of incantation or spell of containment. A pact is the name of what, whatever is imprisoned within the gemstone. SCP-001 is was finally placed on semi-permanent display in 1949. In 2003, Foundation staff observed that the Model of white patterns on the surface of SCP-001 are similar to cosmic microwave background, a pattern of microwaves encompassing the entire observable universe as mapped by NASA's Wilkinson Microwave Astrotrophy Probe earlier that year. Closer inspection showed that the two patterns came to be identical. SCP-001 was immediately purchased by a Foundation front organization and transferred to Site-10, where Dr. Q. Hack and Dr. Y. Mer Mersky performed initial routine analysis. Research continues under the auspice of Dr. Mer Mersky, Dr. Hack having recently left the Foundation. Young's journal also includes several detailed sketches of SCP-001 and one of the sketches small ornament object resembling a key is shown fitted in into its north pole, the key has not yet been recovered.